Hey everybody, you're not gonna be able to see me today, but I'm gonna be explaining to you a few things that you need to know and remember about some of the science tools that we've been talking about. So you'll notice in front of the camera here, I have several of the science tools that we came up and looked at in the lab um, last class. So you'll notice that I have a triple beam balance, um, I have an electronic scale, and I have a ruler, all right? I also have a car, and I'm gonna use that car for a demonstration in order to show you how to use these different tools. So if you remember, the correct way to use a triple beam balance or the electronic scale is to zero it first. So you need to make sure that it's balanced or zeroed before you begin weighing something. So let's take a look at the triple beam balance first. All right, so here's the pan on which we're gonna put the car in order to weigh it. And then you'll notice that it has the three different beams, that hence triple beam balance. And you'll notice over here that there is a scale of numbers. The first one is from zero to 10. The back one then is from zero to 100. And the middle one goes all the way to 500 grams. So you'll have to take a look at the object that you're weighing and kind of make a decision on which one, which scale you're going to move first or which thing you're going to move first in order to weigh what you put on the pan. So we've got this little pink and yellow Hot Wheels car and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the pan and begin weighing it. Now I have to make sure that this little white line is lined up with the zero and then that will tell me the weight that it's, that it's balanced, so then I can read the scale and tell how much it weighs, all right? So I'm gonna guess that this thing doesn't weigh very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the front, um, the front numbers, and I'm gonna go ahead and start moving this first and see if it um, levels out, so then I can see how much it weighs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start and it's more than three, more than four. Hmm, I think I miscalculated. Okay, so it is more than 10 grams. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the back one. And I know it's more than 10. Uh, let's see, it's more than 20. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's 30, well, it started to move at least. So now I can go ahead and start moving this and see, wait a minute. Okay, it's getting close. All right, so it's, it's at zero now. So I've got 30 grams, so it's 30 in the back. And here it's not yet to the one, it's almost to the one. So there are 10 slashes here. There, there's the zero and then there's 10 slashes and the 10th one is on the one. So it's right before that. So it's 30 and 9 tenths. 30 and 9 tenths grams, okay? So it's almost 31 grams. And I can tell that by reading the scale here. We've got 10, 20, 30. Then it's right before the one. So it's nine tenths, 30 and nine tenths. Now, let's go ahead and check that on the electronic scale. So I'm gonna take this off and I wanna go ahead and zero this again, okay? So now I'm gonna put this on the electronic scale. Now when I turn that on, when I turn the electronic scale on, I have to remember to hit the zero button, okay? And it says busy right now because it's getting ready to zero that. And then I go ahead and I put the car on the scale. And I'm gonna move this closer so that you can see that it says 31 grams. Okay, and we when we read the triple beam balance, we said 39 tenths. So we know that we've done the right thing with that. It didn't have the nine tenths, but it did tell us 31 grams, so that it was only one-tenth difference, okay? All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are gonna measure this with the ruler. 
Now, when you're measuring with a ruler, you need to be very careful. If it's in between, okay, if it's in between, we've got, we've, we're on the centimeter side. Remember, we use the metric system in the science lab. So we've got 10 slashes in between the zero and the one. So each one of them is one-tenth. So when we go to measure this, and we go to look and see how much, what length it is, we have to make sure that it's right on a certain line and then figure out if it's so many tenths of a centimeter, okay? So I'm gonna hold this car up here. I'm gonna to try to do this as best I can holding this up. And we've got seven, and it's right on the in-between, so it's five tenths. Seven, five tenths centimeters, okay? So I know that because it went directly to this line right here. And so we've got one, two, three, four, five, five tenths, seven and five tenths centimeters, okay? Now, um, when you're reading this, you need to make sure, you need to look carefully at the type of ruler you have. Sometimes zero is not at the very end. Sometimes zero is just a little bit farther than from the end you need to make sure that you get it right on the zero. And that's what I did with this car. I got it right on the zero, and then I twisted it a little bit, and I would have done that too um, had it been laying down, okay? I would go ahead and put it like this, and then I would have gone ahead and taken a careful look at exactly which line it goes to so that I would know if it's so many tenths of a centimeter, okay? So we've been talking about weighing things on a triple beam balance and checking it on an electronic scale. And we've been talking about um, measuring the length of something in centimeters. Remember, we always use the metric system in the lab. So this week, what you're gonna do is you're going to weigh something virtually on a triple beam balance, and you're going to measure something, the length of something, with a ruler using centimeters. All right, if you have any questions, you can always email me. I want you to keep thinking, keep watching, and always stay curious. I'll see you next time.